In this video, we use a new tool to sift through one of the trashiest areas in New York City and uncover treasure. I'm going to narrate over because the wind was really bad just at the beginning, but uh, th this is a spot I've come to many, many times. I've used uh, a bunch of detectors. And uh, you know how it is. Uh, there are various tones in a metal detector, and you can definitely differentiate a high tone from a, uh, a medium tone to a low tone and such. And uh, I've really only been able to dig the high tones. But I know that there is more here because this is an area that's frequented by people. And the amount of junk, you're going to hear the manticore sound like a machine gun in a second with the amount of targets. But we're going to clean that up with a special tool. Oh yeah, and uh, once we get things uh, cleared up using this, uh, we have the honey badger scoop, and that's a lot more surgical. All right, so we got a recovery speed on eight, and I think I'm on one of the beach programs. So something here, that would be something I would pulled in the past. But you hear the skips with the bottle cap. Okay, so there's a lot of targets there. What makes detecting a site like this so difficult? It's like a machine gun. All right, so let's explain this so that the newbies will understand. We got a quarter here. We got two gold rings, one here and one here. And we have the stuff that is on this beach all sorts of these pull tabs that people have left there so on the beach you got a lot of these 28 and the sound 25 listen to the sound 27 22 23 okay so these are well low to mid tones now let's listen to the quarter That quarter sound sticks out like a sore thumb. It's easy to differentiate. Quarter is more conductive. It's not like people program these and say, well, let's make gold at number two. No, it doesn't work that way. Um, it is a scale of conductivity. And look, 33, 30, the size and shape um, and uh, alloy that's in the gold definitely factors into this but how similar is this to that and you know years ago I've used the sniper coil here that's something but I want to clean this up and the water is the same problem there are cans people are just slobs and ow if nothing else we're gonna do a good deed but I think there's treasure here this is an old swimming hole And uh, I think once we get rid of this top layer, there might be something else underneath. So the game plan is to use the new tool to take out that top layer. So what I'm going to do is just pull this. You need to do a little at a time and then you bring it to the water. I didn't use the water. I came up with a better method that you'll see in a moment. Or you let it strain like that. <laughs> Look at this. One, two. You know, I'm not gonna bore you with uh, every scoop, but my process is scoop, check, discard. That's not the process either. It just evolved. Scoop. Bye. More junk. Humans are gross. 
first semi-cool find, we found this little blinged out bell. Um, it's like a neon crotal bell. <laughs> and we found the source. It's not a neon crotal bell. That's going in there. I found a busy spot. layers and layers of it. You know, I've learned, I've got the process down now. So basically, you take a scoop. Oop, that didn't work. Take a scoop, shake it. Then you could go on, take another scoop. That's how you could make this work in the dry sand. And you see all the stuff rattling around there? Oh, look. Well, there we go. First treasure right on top. Now I linked to this product in the video description and the pinned comment. Let me tell you this first. If you're expecting to pull this through the dry sand and uh, all of the sand filters out and only the, you know, stuff that doesn't filter through stays there, it doesn't work like that. It's just not enough sand going through it. The holes would need to be bigger, but if the holes are too big, uh, it's not going to filter the stuff that we want. So you got to do it like I just showed you a second ago, but it does work. Right there. Just got all this junk. Got another, well, it's a Zinkin, a shield penny. <laughs> Look at that. Our trash can is filling up and even more. Look at that. More. Let's go. First treasure. There we go. Look at that. I was about to say there hasn't been one scoop that I've made that I have found nothing, that nothing has been in there. Um, this place is busy and we just got our first earring. And we'll have to check this out. I don't think it's gold, but I also don't think that it is uh, iron. Yeah, so iron, it is not. And we've got a magnet here. And uh, what it is, it's obviously not going to be gold, but it is gold-plated copper. Oh, you come back. No, oh, come back. <laughs> you know, you care more about it when it, uh, when you scoop it out, you take the time to do that. Nothing is escaping. Man, feel those winds? Don't blow away. I should have brought a bag. The irony of this type of pull tab is these are the ones that were like bolted down to the can. You have to really twist it in order to get this off. Now this, this was the uh, classic pull tab. I actually get excited when I see these uh, because it's been years since this was down there. Nothing like that is on cans anymore. And if I see something on the surface, I'm picking it up, I'm throwing it out. Look at that. Look at this. This was from a uh, iPhone. I recognize the uh, camera type. Or at least another coin mixed in. Some sort of uh, fishing thingy. Yep, that's progress. Keep going. New York will never be hunted out in my lifetime. And the reason for that, it, it's got so many areas like this that detectorists don't go to because they know it's so high maintenance. But this one, it had a pretty easy fix. And it's it's that tool that just, you know, you pull that and uh, it's, it's pretty efficient. Look at that. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I am pretty sure that this is plated. It's got some weight though. All right, very nice. There we go. I think these are supposed to be fish. Is that a fish? Yeah, look closely at this. That is going to be plated also. This does have some weight. I think they uh, they meant that to, you know, fool people, as they always do. This is pretty cool. I like fish. Yeah, we like fish here. And another thing I like and appreciate of you is uh, if you uh, enjoy this content, if you enjoy, if you're learning, uh, please hit that subscribe button. We've gotten this number down. It was well above 80%. Now it's down to 78% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. Please help me out. Hit that subscribe button. More. Another one of those beads. More. 
more, more, more. I just mudlarked this. Yeah, we haven't even got to the water yet. Wow. This is after taking the top layer off. <laughs> I don't know what the most efficient way is with this. Um, I've been doing, you know, I did the, the top layer pretty much everywhere, but there's these bottom layers that just, it's just layers and layers here. More. Do you see what I see? Oh, that's the same thing. I thought I got another, I did get another chain, but it's part of the first one. I guess that was a necklace. I thought it was a bracelet. And some other stuff in here. I went back to the big rake. Oh, look, we got a dime too. There we go. Yeah, this chain came in two parts. Uh, let's see if we can put it back together. Yep, not a necklace. It is a chain, and this is where it links together. Um, the wrist thingy. I'm feeling macho. Mm. Get on there. Oh, there we go. Styling. I just mudlarked this. There we go. Ooh, that might be uh, the real thing there. can't tell weight with um, earrings, but look at that. That's all pearls. Might have a little gold on it or gold plating. We'll have to give it a close look. Oh, too bad. So sad. There's treasure in the sand. And uh, <laughs> you got to go through this, apparently. So let's discard of that. Man, it's just laying on the surface. This is a day project. There's just so much. Oh man, that's filling up. Look at that. I've done my good deed for the day. More. Wow. Yep. More. Yep. Deposit. I've been mixing it up. And we got, it's in the hard packed layer. That's a pretty solid 9, 10, 11. Oh yeah, huge possibility that was going to be a gold chain here. Yep penny but not really because it's a zincan now listen it's a lot easier oh here's a another one of these which really shouldn't be pulled off anyway you hear that and do i see it i do we are proud owners of a it's a bicentennial quarter there we go um you could pick out the high tones but um you know, any mid-tone, like that earring, I was pretty lucky to get that. Yeah, there's a few ways you could go about doing this, and uh, I've been kicking. I've also been using my rake and uh, my beat scoop. Man, I pushed down to the deeper level, and we just got a, uh, a key. We just got a quarter. I think we're getting ready to get in the water. Another quarter, but it is modern. You know what else is modern? That stuff. That is accumulating. Meh. Yeah. Getting something high. Yep, it was this. Great. Yeah, the deeper layer seems to be clad here. It's strangely therapeutic. I'm actually gonna stick with this, although it's getting less and less. Um, the, the good stuff that I found has been with this. So my process is dump it on the ground and look, and uh, you know, it's getting less. And the metal detector can cue me into an area where there's high volume. 11 cents and a Miller cap. And I was getting ready to leave and then this happened. Oh, look at this. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. I knew it was here. I knew it was here. There's a hell of a lot. Oh, let me put this down. Hold on. Heck of a lot more. Man, look at this. This, there's no way. 
that this would have been picked up alone. This was in one of those high volume, uh, high target sections. And you know what? People lose stuff. Wherever there's trash, there's treasure. This is proof. Okay, look at this. It's very solid sounding, but an 11. If this wasn't in a section that was uh, not filled with trash, we wouldn't have gotten that. I was going to go in the water. Let's give it another look after that. In a recent video, I got a very similar ring, a little bit smaller. Um, this one is going to be stainless steel. And I think it says, I love you on the inside. I love you. So I got my love you ring. If you watch this channel, you know I'm crazy about rings. And uh, well, let's put this one first. And then that, I love you. Go and live in happiness with your friends. Another dime. Oh, we just got another earring. And this one I thought was a coin. Yep, I just bent it with my metal detector. I think we got silver. Pretty sure this is silver. Oh, too bad. So sad. I don't love you. Zipper, and I have a friend who says wherever there's zippers, there's gold. Another 36 cents for my effort. All right, I tell you what, I just spent my last two hours of my life filling this thing up. And you see, totally silent. That's not... It's not a detector falsing. That's not the issue. The issue is we got layers and layers here. And uh, we kind of got lucky with some of it, but I want to test out the water. In the last All right, we got my honey badger here, and uh, we're actually going to go in without the manticore the first time. And this should actually go a lot faster. Well, not too much. I did see a bottle cap that got knocked out. We got this. Yeah, I just found a flag. What the heck does this say? There's a bottle cap all around it. What in the world does this say? Oh my goodness, it says seniors. And they spelt it wrong. Nice job. So a school must have came here on their senior trip. Wow, okay. Well, let's hope they lost some rings. They sure lost some bottle caps. All right, one scoop. We got this trash. That's going in the bag for now. Pouch. Uh, on to the next. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Man, people are gross. All right, we, I'm just going in with the detector and the uh, pinpointer. It is a mess. We're gonna have to really listen. We're gonna have to listen. Uh, by now, especially, I know what the, uh, those bottle cap things, uh, you know, the pull tab things sound like. And I'm only gonna dig stuff that is uh, more full sounding. Solid 10. I realize you've seen a lot of junk in this video and I'm not trying to overdo it, but it was overdone there, let's put it that way, but I cut out a lot from this section. We do find some good stuff. Yep, that's it. Yep, I got full. Fold again. There we go. This was messing with my head because look at this. This looks like half of a pull tab. This is a ring. That is gonna be a silver ring. There we go. That just had a different sound to it. Uh, that's what I'm going by. I'm going by the sound. If it sounds good, uh, I mean, <laughs> you saw me get some, uh, you know, pull tabs with this, but uh, if it sounds good, I'm gonna dig it. There we go. Where there is trash, there is treasure. We got this cold silver ring right here. And uh, this is proof. Yeah, here's a look back 
uh, this is uh, much lower lake level than usual so we could go out a little bit further uh, let's keep going this is a dream signal 19 ah. 11 12 13 always dig that i see you there you go there we go that is a tungsten ring and uh, i've learned that tungsten is one of the hardest surfaces on earth and it also resembles another ring that I got recently. So these two I got in Turks and Caicos, and this was the one that I got today. Torque. Well, once I saw Torque, I was able to match it. This is a $200 ring. Torque. What you looking at? Hi, bro. That's bro. Um, yeah. Always happy. I realize we kind of went overboard with trash today, but I couldn't help that with the site. There was really only one other pretty cool find. I got a rolling 12, 13. I am very hopeful that's a chain. Oh, I see you. I see you. I got you. Oh. I have never found one of these before. This was actually part of a belly button ring and the clip on the back broke. Um, it's probably silver. It's non-magnetic. I'm sure that that is bling, but I've never found one of these before. And look at this, we have matched it. You could get it on Etsy for $11.24. I, I could just pierce my belly button for free now. That, that idea is as bad as the invention of the tow ring. But you know what? We did our good deed for the day, and uh, it was a fun day.